Gather your nail clipping supplies ahead of time. You can purchase specific nail clipping scissors from a pet store or you can use a fingernail clipper or I prefer a toenail clipper for those thicker nails. You can manipulate them easily, you're used to using them. Also always have on hand some styptic powder in case of cutting down to the quick and the nails bleeding. I like to recommend nail clipping on a monthly basis. Get comfortable and make sure your guinea pig feels at ease. We'll start with the back feet and what we're going to do is we're going to clip the edges, the tips of the nails. There is a little vein that runs through the nail and in a guinea pig with a light colored foot you can actually see that little blood vessel. Using a light can also highlight where that blood vessel stops but it is easy to see and that is a marker to know how far down to cut the nail. You want to cut below that spot. In cutting the nails, you want to take a close look at the nail. In a guinea pig with a light colored foot, it is actually quite easy to see where the little blood vessel that runs through the nail stops. You can even use a light a flashlight underneath the nail to indicate to you where that blood vessel is. You want to cut below that spot and just cut off the tips of the nails. If you cut into the quick or the blood vessel, the nail will bleed. We're also going to cut the front nails and we use the same principle of just clipping off the tips of the nails. In a guinea pig with dark colored nails where you don't know where the quick is, just take the very tip of the nail off. They may seem slightly long but you won't be in danger of cutting down and making that nail bleed. Try and get all the nails done, but sometimes I know this can be stressful for you and the guinea pig. But since it's important it does get done on a regular basis, at least cut one or two at one sitting. If you don't, the nails can grow long and curl around and continue to grow into the pad of the guinea pig's foot. This can cause complications of infection and pain for your guinea pig and you want to avoid that. So however frightful you may be of cutting the nails, Please be brave and make sure it gets done on a monthly basis. Some pet groomers and veterinary officers will also assist with the cutting of nails.
If I had cut the nail too short and there was some bleeding, I would get my styptic powder and I would put the guinea pig's foot into the powder. The blood would absorb the powder and clotting would be encouraged and therefore the bleeding would stop. Make sure the bleeding is stopped before you put your guinea pig back into its cage. Gather your nail clipping tools ahead of time. You can purchase a nail clipping set from a pet store or you can use either a fingernail clipping set or a toenail clipping set which is the one I prefer because it is better for the thicker nails of the back feet and easier to manipulate and you also need to gather some styptic powder 